Welcome everybody. Welcome to our webinar, Get Sales Results You'll Love with the Wizard. I am Bethany Weidenhammer. I'm Client Services Specialist and my co-host for today is Daryl Davis, our Vice President of Creative Services. Today's webinar is all about how to use the wizard to help you create personalized spec ads. And since Valentine's Day is right around the corner, we figured that'd be a great way to show you how to use the wizard. Um, so Valentine's Day is going to be our focus and it's a fun holiday and it works for any type of business. So you should have lots of prospects and you'll get, you'll give the wizard a really great workout, um, creating ads for all those prospects. Uh, Daryl's going to start off by showing you some of our fabulous new Valentine's ads and images and some ideas along with some buying statistics to get you in the mood for selling. And then I'll show you how to find and personalize the ads for your prospects in the wizard and along with a, a few other key resources that will help you out. We are going to leave some time at the end for questions and the webinar is being recorded. So if you have to duck out early or if you have coworkers that couldn't make it, um, you'll get an email from Zoom tomorrow with a link to the recording and some other helpful links. There is also a quick survey at the end of our webinar. So if you can take a few minutes to fill that out, we really appreciate it. Um, it helps us um, know what we're doing well, what we should be doing, what kind of things you want to see for future topics. Uh, so, so please uh, fill that out for us. We really appreciate it. And I'm going to turn it over to Daryl to, to get us started. Thanks, Bethany. Uh, and thanks everyone for joining us today to talk about Valentine's Day and some local retail opportunities that it presents and Metro and our fantastic wizard presentation tool. Um, our first slide, we are focusing on Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day content in our January search book. And that actually gives me a perfect lead in to tell everyone that we've started to cover some promotional opportunities and content a little earlier in the calendar year to allow for you to make the most of selling time. Um, as we're moving through these first slides um, with respect to um, the wizard, I just want to let it let you know that our wizard ads are, are indicated within our search book with the graphic uh, of the blue star in the yellow circle, which we've indicated here. We are adding hundreds of ads every month to our wizard library. So let's start to take a look. Focusing initially on a few highlights of our top prospect ads that we feature every month. Um, and these are just, again, a few of them. But on the far left is a, a print ad, which serves as the base of our ad. And then we also have five web and mobile uh, companion versions that are available for each of these ads that you're looking at. This ad on the left is developed for a liquor store. Uh, I'm sorry, a lounge, but it could easily be a, a liquor store. It could be for a home store for the glassware. Um, basically any advertiser that might want to celebrate Valentine's Day. The others here, again, uh, just a reminder that all of them have web and mobile versions and everything can be changed up according to advertiser and the thoughts that we've provided in these ads. And next. Next, we're focusing on some more spec ad content in our search book. The two ads on the left are Valentine's Day oriented for our purposes. Um, really any advertiser would love to celebrate Valentine's Day by saying we love our customers. There's some fantastic art here. Um, the, the ad on the left is, uh, you know, um, able to be changed out to another advertiser as well. We have a fitness forum on the right hand side. We have single sheets which are created for targeted delivery areas to help you focus on delivering a message to a particular area, um, as well as the therapy clinic on the right hand side. Next, our themed event promotions. Um, this is one of several that we present every month. This one, again, happens to be a Valentine's Day focus, but we're providing a cover, promotional ads with web and mobile versions as well, a full page multi advertiser directory with um, sorry, I'm getting a pop-up on my screen, with uh, a coloring panel and a word find, 
this could be something, uh, you know, a, uh, we have a fantastic group of coloring panels that could be made into a contest. Um, you could do a coloring section, um, all with premium advertisers related to each. On the right hand side um, is one of our contests. Again, several contests are presented each month in our search book. This one happens to be Valentine's Day. <coughs> Excuse me. This one happens to be a contest where you share a story of your first date and readers would vote on it. But this is, um, you know, the, the ad itself, the contest itself could be adapted to love stories from local community readers. Uh, it could be cutest couple, it could be cutest pets, it could be a poem contest. So it's all adaptable. And Bethany will show you in a little while how you can change these ads up to do so. The next slide is featuring our infographic layouts, as well as a shaped ad layout and our marketplace ads. Starting at the left, this initially started as a customer request. We're doing it as a quarterly good to know um, health feature with uh, an, an, alert, an area on the bottom for a premium advertiser. Next to that is a shaped ad, which is a great way to highlight an advertiser amidst editorial content. And on the right hand side with our marketplace ads, although the wizard is not friendly to multiple advertisers, all of the single ads that are, you know, associated with the marketplace here are wizard friendly and can be changed out. Um, just highlighting one, I think this was a funny headline, think outside the chocolate box. Um, this one is for a day spa, but it could be for a restaurant, uh, a nail salon, um, and the same with the pizza heart below. And we'll see that a little more when Bethany does a demo. Next is our full page calendar with a ton of promotional ideas. Um, interestingly, the same art is used here for a hospital health fair that was used previously for Think Outside the Chocolate Box. So just another example of how you can adapt existing spec ads to your local, um, retailer or you know for use with uh, an existing client or prospecting a client again the small single ads on this layout are all available in the wizard <clears throat> excuse me on the right um a, a one example of many social media images that we've begun to incorporate into our monthly search book um, these are you know able to be used we're providing sizes for instagram facebook twitter uh, we know that a lot of our users have been utilizing their social media platforms more to communicate about, let's say, an upcoming closure for MLK Day on Monday. Um, and we certainly have that in our library as well. So be sure to take a look at our social media content, which is new and fresh and will be included every month moving forward. At the crux of all of this is our content, um, which we create all of our spec ads from and multiple ad directories, etc. But they include, you know, a, a fantastic diverse group of high quality photos. We have vector art, we have Valentine's Day headings, we have all kinds of headings. Um, and we have concept photos like the love uh, on the upper left hand side here. But again, this is a tiny uh, smattering of images that we have available in our monthly content. So check it out in our search book. Another page, um, just again, to show you, you know, just a small highlighted version. We have Valentine's backgrounds, we have borders, we have graphics. Um, the border that says you are cute, text me, love you. Those are, I remember those from when I was a kid. Those might be chain, you know, fun to change up, uh, use your graphic artist to change up the messaging on those or contact us to do so, we'd be happy to help you. Again, um, calling out our fantastic archive of coloring panels to help you create you know, a single ad or a section or a grouping of contest ads. Next, <coughs> excuse me again. Um, so 
So as we're going to be demonstrating with our wizard, my ad to help produce personalized spec ads and presentations for prospects, existing clients, and uh, hoping to up your close rate to 90%. We're really focusing on a shop local Valentine's Day situation and the retail opportunities that that presents. And I know everyone wants a piece of this pie. So we uncovered some interesting statistics about that. Um, last year, even in the midst of a pandemic, we as Americans spent $22 billion on Valentine's Day as a retail holiday. And that filtered down to an average spend of about 165 bucks. Um, so some interesting numbers for you there. And then focusing a bit more on the fractions, 4.1 billion on jewelry, 2.8 billion on an evening out, which can be a restaurant or any kind of other activity, 2.7 billion on clothing. And all of this with a background of 152 million roses being sold in the two weeks prior to Valentine's Day. We thought these were fun and interesting. So I know everyone wants to grab some of this. And just to end my part of the presentation here, um, showing a group of Metro ads that our designers have used uh, the wizard for to drop in a new logo. They happen to all be florists, but just to give you an idea of the diversity of our uh, spec ad content, again, um, which is completely able to be changed up and changed out in the wizard. So back to Bethany to talk a bit more about that. And thanks. All right. I, I didn't get my share of those roses and jewelry last <clears throat> Valentine's Day. <laughs> I thought you might be maybe, concerned maybe, about that. Maybe we can improve that this year. <laughs> All right. So now it's time for the man of the hour, the, the man, the myth, the legend, the Myad wizard. And in, in case you've ever wondered what Myad stands for, it's Metro Interactive Ad Designer. I've heard some people call him the maid wizard, but he's going to help you with your ads. He's not going to clean your house. So it's the Myad wizard. And if you're not familiar with the wizard, it is a sales tool. And as I mentioned in the intro, it, it enables you to create personalized spec ads for both print and digital. And just to add a little clarification, you're not creating the ads from scratch. You're just choosing one of our existing templates and adding your prospect's business information to the template. The, the wizard gives you an idea to present to your prospect, just a conversation starter, starting point, something to get your foot in the door. And we've had some customers report back to us that using spec ads from the wizard has helped them increase their close rate to as high as 90%. And you can present single spec ads, or you can create multiple ad presentations to give your businesses more options to choose from. Uh, and one of the great things about the wizard is that there's no wait time. So you have the ads when you need them. And then after you present the idea to your local business and the ad sells, you can then send it back to your design team for all the finishing touches. And the sharing options that you have within the wizard help keep sales, the design team and your clients all on the same page. All you need for the wizard is a web browser, an internet connection, and these three easy steps. In step one, you're going to either create a new advertiser or choose an existing one from your list. Step two, you are going to search for a template and pick one that you like. And in step three, you can save your ad so you can come back to it later and share it with your client. So let's jump live to the web browser here and we're going to go through the steps of creating some ads. Um, starting off on the homepage, and the most important thing you wanna do when you get to our site is to log in in the top right-hand corner. Make sure it shows your name here um, so that you're logged in with your own password. If it doesn't, call us or email us and we'll get you set up with your own. The wizard is a custom feature and we want everybody to have their own password so that it shows your name and, and you can distinguish your ads between other people's. So to find the wizard, uh, you can go directly there from the search menu and select my ad wizard, or you can go through the sales tools area 
And this is a good place to come for ideas when you have a few minutes to check out the splash page. Um, there are some great features here and some helpful videos and quick links. Uh, but to get to the wizard, you'll just click create a spec ad. And once you're in the site, there's also a tab here for my ad wizard. So there are all different places that you can find them. And it takes you right to step one. And here we're going to create a new advertiser. So just click this button and you're gonna enter your client's business information here. You can even upload a logo, uh, totally optional. Um, if you have the advertiser already in the system, you can select it from this list, which is what I'm gonna do. And you'll see my logo is already uploaded. And then we're gonna go on to step two. There are some helpful hints for, for searching here. So you can check those out. Uh, and you can type in keywords or you can use a Metro file name if, um, if you want to find a specific ad. And then I'm going to search for Valentine's restaurants. I'm going to click exact match because I'm using more than one keyword. And what that does is it makes sure that all of my results have both the words Valentine and restaurant. Otherwise, you're getting Valentine and or restaurant. There is a filter here for the type of ad. It's going to default to showing you just print ads. Uh, you could also choose to search for print ads that have matching web ads. So if you want to do a print and digital campaign, this is the option you'd want to choose. All right, so now we've got our finished ad and it's got the client's business information in it. You can stop here and share it with the client. Um, just You can do this as simply as you want or you can take it a step further and do some more customizing. So we're gonna start with just the basic simple procedure. So in step three, now we can share it. And if you click on share, you can share it as a low resolution PDF. You can email it directly to a client or you can print it out. I'm going to choose PDF because I could do either of those with that and also have a copy on my drive if I want. You can assign it a job number if you want. You can change the title, add notes. And when you save an ad, it's going to save it to what we call a presentation. And a presentation can be just this one ad or it can be multiple ads if you want to give your client different options. And so you can choose to create a new presentation or you can add it to an existing one. Okay, and now it's going to download the PDF right here. And here is our PDF preview. Um, it's opening up in, in my Chrome tab because that's how my browser is set up. It might be different for you. It might just open up in Adobe Reader. But there's a print option right here to print it out or you can download it. Bethany, can, yeah. I, can I interrupt you for one sec? Sure. I'm just, I'm looking at this ad and I'm thinking it's so cool, this heart-shaped Valentine's mm -hmm. Day pizza. And it occurred to me that last year, one of the things that we were hearing a lot about was local restaurants that were, uh, you know, COVID challenged and they couldn't do in-person dining. So something that got really popular was um, pizza ingredients that you could pick up at your local pizzeria and make them at your home. Um, right. And I was just thinking with this, it'd be kind of cool, like for a local restaurant, to do a little, you know, again, COVID notwithstanding, but a little uh, tutorial or demo on how to create these heart-shaped Valentine's Day pizzas at home. Anyway, sorry, it just, yeah. just occurred to me while I was looking at it. Thanks for- uh, I like that. Thanks for letting and, me know. And, you know, um, and this ad could also be used not for Valentine's Day. A designer could just change the little tagline here to um, take out Valentine's Day and, and it could still be, uh, fitting for a regular ROP ad for a restaurant. Uh, so you got the preview here that you can show your client. And this isn't going to be a perfect sold ad. It's an idea. It's just a concept, something to get the conversation started. And as your, your client gives you their feedback, tells you what they want to change, what they want to add, um, you have a box here that you can make notes. If you want to print this out as a leave behind for your client, uh, it'll have your name at the bottom here. So one reason we want you to have your own password so that you're not 
giving an ad to your client that has a sales rep's name who hasn't been there for five years. Uh, so, so get your password. And then once the ad sells, you're going to throw it back to the designer. And there is a template name field right here that uh, has the Metro file name. So your designer can take that, plug it into the creative library and download the original Quark or InDesign package and make any changes from there. All right, so let's jump back to the wizard. So that is the basic simple one, two, three, um, creating your ad and sharing with your client. Now, if the ad is perfect the way it is, you could even download a camera ready PDF right from here. Designer can just drop it on the page. Um, you could get a JPEG if it's a web ad, uh, or if you want to give your designer a little bit more of a head start, uh, you can go to this production files and click the link at the top of this page, paste it into an email, or you can add it to an online order form. And when the designer clicks the link, it'll take them here and they can choose exactly what format and what package they want to download. There's the magic customize button right underneath the ad. It's gonna slide out this panel with all of your options. And here you can change what contact information displays in the ad. You can add the logo that you uploaded, uploaded in step one. If you didn't upload it in step one, you can always come back and upload it here. You can also hide social media icons. You can adjust the size within reason uh, and you can change it to black and white. So I'm going to add the logo to this one. I don't need the company name as text because that's going to be redundant. So I'm just going to click the X to take that out. And I'm going to hit place on add. There we go. So you can move it around wherever you want it to go. You can grab it by a corner and adjust the size and then just hit done. And now you can save it. So I already saved it once, uh, but I'm gonna overwrite it with the new logo so I can hit save again and update the current spec ad. And now it's even a little bit more personalized because it has the logo in it. Now, if you want to, maybe you don't like this template or you wanna try a different template, um, give your advertiser multiple options to choose from. You can hit change template on the left and um, and this takes you back to step two. So now you can choose a different template. So let's do this one. And it's going to update the ad with the new, in, the new template. All right. And you may need to just adjust the logo a little, little bit with the new template. And if you decided that you wanted this ad instead of the one that you've already done, you can just hit save and overwrite it. Or if you want it to separate ad, you can hit save as and save it as a new spec ad. This is gonna add it to the presentation if you're doing it as, as a separate ad. To view the presentation, there's a link on the left for open presentation. That'll take you right into the presentation you're working on. Uh, but if you wanna view other presentations, you can use the path along the top. Uh, so this on the right is, points to this particular ad. Um, this, the restaurant Valentine, is the name of the presentation I created. My local business is the name of the client. And the first option here where it says AOD demo account, this is gonna show your company name. So if you click on your company name, no, I'm not gonna say this right now. Um, this shows you all of the presentations that everybody at your company have, has created. And you can filter it by advertiser or sales rep. And when you find the presentation, you can click on the folder icon. It says view presentation. And you'll see all the ads in the presentation. Now, just like in the uh, in step three, where we shared it, you can share it from here too. Only this time, it's going to share all of the ads in the presentation. And you again, you can do it by PDF, email, and print, all the same. But one added benefit um, here: if you are presenting in person with a tablet or a laptop, you. The, the presentation mode where you can just scroll through the ads right on your screen with your customer. And now you can scroll through the ads and they look really nice, big, bold, beautiful for the customer. It makes a really nice presentation for them. 
So that is, those are the presentations. Um, so just again, to recap, you can return to the wizard here. You can do it as simply as you want, or you can take it further, enter your client's information, choose a template, save the ad and share it with your clients. If you wanna customize it further, create presentations, you can do that, you don't have to. Um, so you know, trying to keep it as simple as possible for you so that you're not afraid to go in there and start playing around and try it out. And we do have some tutorials and stuff that will go over some of the more detailed things that you can do with the wizard um, if you do want to try those out. And the wizard is an add-on service. So if you aren't subscribing to the wizard uh, and you want to check it out, call us or email us and we'll set you up with a free trial so that you can get in there and play around with it. Um, one thing to note about the wizard ads, we've got thousands and thousands of ads in the wizard but they are all single advertiser. So if you wanted to do a SIG page, or gang page, telemarketing page, whatever you call it, that has more than one advertiser for Valentine's Day or anything else, you're not gonna find those in the wizard. Um, so for those kind of things, you can go to the sales tab or the creative library. They both search the same things. The sales tab is just nice for sales because it has all the ideas on the page too. And you can search, you can search again by keywords or by file name, and you've got filters, use your filters. You can choose to search for just images or just spec ads or together. Uh, right now we're doing it together and you'll see some of the multiple advertiser ads right here coming up. You've got color filters. If you are running an ad in black and white or your whole paper is in black and white, you can change your color filters to only view black and white versions of things, um, shape filters and image type filter. So if you know you're just looking for a cartoon type image or a heading or a photo, um, social media you can find here. Spec ads and covers filters. Um, it's gonna default to showing you all the print ads. Um, if you wanna narrow it down to print ads with matching web ads, you can do that. If you want to just look for, look for web ads, you can select that option, uh, just like in the wizard. And this print ad type menu. So in Daryl's part of the presentation, he went over a lot of different ad types, uh, top ad sales prospects, themed event packages, single sheets, um, marketplace, coloring pages, calendars, all these things. These are quick ways to find those specific types of ads. So you can type in Valentine and you can select the ad type and you'll get right there. Um, multiple advertiser is one that if you're doing SIG pages, um, anything with, mul with multiple advertisers, select multiple advertiser. And let's turn off the images quick here. So there you have a ton of different ideas for Valentine's Day that you can take out and shop around to the, all different businesses, get them all on one page and, uh, and make an easy sell of it. All right, let's go back to the regular search. Okay, um, so we're looking at images here too. I, I know the, uh, the webinar is mostly about Valentine's Day ads and selling ads, but images are an important part of that because if you, maybe you find a template that you like in the wizard, but the image just isn't quite what the advertiser would be looking for, you can come in here and find a different image to present to them. Just, um, just print out a preview and you can show that to them along with the template. And then your designer can swap them out. Or if you want to set up a campaign for your client, um, we've got all these, these cute little Valentine gnomes. Maybe you have a customer that wants to run multiple Valentine's ads um, between now and Valentine's Day. They could change up each ad with different gnomes. And these gnomes were a customer request, by the way, too. So if you ever can't find anything or need something specific, let us know. Um, and since gnomes are just taking over the world, you're going to find gnomes coming up in a lot of future issues. So you can create campaigns for every topic with gnomes for those gnome loving clients. And if you have a designer that's you know, good with Illustrator, they could even go in and just change the colors of their hats and clothes or maybe take out a heart to make them uh, suitable for more general ROP ads. Or of course, contact us if you need any custom uh, alterations done to anything that's existing or something that you're looking for in general. Right, right. <clears throat> um, so, so this is one way to find 
the other ads. The wizard ads are a subset of this database. This database shows all of the ads um, and the images as well. Um, you also have some plus business stories, which are success stories from customers, ideas, pages on how to use our site and some sales ideas. So you can search around in here for those kind of things too. Uh, Daryl also mentioned the search book a lot in his presentation. You can find that up in the top left hand corner here. And this is really the best way to see everything that's new. I and mean, you can always go in and type in keywords in the wizard or in the sales library. Um, but going through the search book, you're going to see everything that's new. So you may see things that you didn't think to search for. Um, and there's one for each of the, the major services. Uh, so we're going to go to Metro Newspaper Service because that's the main one. Um, now, there is some Valentine's content in the February issue, but in an effort to get it to you early enough to have a lot enough time to sell, we did put most of the Valentine's Day content in the January issue. So you can go to the archives link up here and select January of 2022. And there it is. And you can just flip through the pages. Here are the top ad sales prospects that Daryl showed with the, the Valentine ad. Um, you've got the themed event package, the editorial ads, contests, all this great stuff, the marketplace. Um, and there's, you know, of course, all the other content for the month too. But it's just a great way to see what's new, flip through, and this way you're not missing anything. Okay, and there's some really great material in here. And uh, Daryl mentioned the, uh, the social media images for Martin Luther King Day. So you can take a sneak peek of it right here. Um, and you can post that on your, on your social media or have your, your local businesses uh, share it with them and, and they can post it on their social media too if they're closed. One more thing here, <clears throat> one more resource. Uh, so after Valentine's Day, you still have half a month left. So if you go to the calendar, you can select February and get some ideas on what else you can have advertisers uh, promote. Um, you'll always find the best sellers here. These are those that spend the most money in advertising typically for that month. So they make good prospects. Um, as we mentioned, Valentine's is good for anybody. Um, but then you also have monthly events, weekly events, and daily events. These give your businesses more reasons to advertise. So after Valentine's Day, maybe uh, your national, your uh, you know, a bird store, they can promote National Bird Feeding Month. Or you know, everyone loves a little goat yoga. If you don't, find a place that has goat yoga and try it out. I have never done it. Um, the National Hot Breakfast Month, Pet Dental Health Month. These are all great opportunities for your local businesses to promote these events and still get their, their information out there, get their ads out there after Valentine's Day. And, um, you know, it just gives them more reasons to advertise. And there's a printable calendar here. So you can print this out and you'll always have everything at your fingertips. So you know, what's coming up and these make great things for social media too. Uh, you could even use this as a leave behind with your clients and they can pick out the things that they like. Um, you know, there's a national pizza day on February 9th. So that heart shaped pizza, present that to your client for, you know, to create a Valentine's day ad. Maybe they want to also promote national pizza day on February 9th. Um, they can put that on their social media and there are just a whole national, national drink wine day on February 18th. Put that on your calendar, margarita day, curling is cool day. So check out the calendar and uh, give your, your advertisers or your businesses reasons to advertise, even when there's not a major holiday going on. And curling is cool day makes me realize that we might want to mention that we do cover Canadian events as well. Yes, yes. Um, right here, you'll see, you'll see them um, labeled as Canada. <clears throat> and support. Metro is all about support. We are working hard to make sure that um, everybody has what they need and we have a lot of resources for you. Under the support menu here, you've got video tutorials. 
We've created videos for everything we could think of. There's a whole section here for the wizard. So you can find more detailed webinar or uh, tutorials on using the wizard uh, along with a ton of other things. And if there's anything that we don't have a video for and you wanna see one, let us know, we'll make it. You'll also find the live training webinars page here where you can see what webinars we'll have coming up in the future. And if you miss any, you can always check out the ones that we've done previously on this page as well. The My Account page in the top right, this, oops, if you're not sure if the wizard is part of your subscription, you can come to the My Services area here and you wanna look for Metro Interactive Ad Designer, My Ad Wizard. So if you see that, you've got the wizard. If you don't, call us or email us, we'll set you up with a trial and you can check it out first. Um, you can also update your profile, change your password, update an email. If you are a Metro admin user, you can manage users for your whole account, add people, delete people, make sure email addresses are up to date. And all this information is just, it's really great information that helps um, let you know what you have as part of your Metro subscription. And lastly, contact us, our phone number, our email address. Please, please, you know, don't be shy about reaching out to us. We are always happy to help. If you have art requests, you need tech support, need a password, um, you wanna do a, a trial of any of our services, definitely just give us a call and, or send us an email and we will help you with anything that you need. Okay, and let's go back and recap. So the wizard, again, simple. You can use it in just the basic form or you can take it further. Um, enter your advertiser's business information in step one search for a template and select one in step two, save it and share it in step three, and then step four, go sell it. And then if you wanna take it further, you've got the customized panel with all the other options, including adding a logo and adjusting the size. Um, you've got, you can create multiple ad presentations to give your client multiple options, and you can present it from your tablet or a laptop with internet access. And the other resources that you have for selling for Valentine's Day or anything else, uh, you've got the spec, the sales tools library, where you're going to find the generic spec ads for print and digital, including those multiple advertiser ads, images, ideas, the search book to show you everything that's new, the calendar to give your businesses more reasons to advertise, and all the support that we have with the video tutorials, our webinars, the My Account page and contact us. And if you wanna contact Daryl or I directly, our emails are here along with the main 800 number and our service email. So thank you all for attending and we're going to open it up for questions now. Um, if anybody has any, you can enter them in the, in the chat or the Q and A and we'll jump back between back and forth between these two and uh, try to get through all of them. So, so uh, let us know your questions. Looks like there are a couple in here already. Um, will this allow you to change the ad size by actual dimensions needed? Yes, you can type in the actual dimensions, but um, it's gonna do it within reason. It's not gonna take a two column ad and turn it into a five column ad flawlessly. There might be you know, stretching or squashing. Um, but if your ad size is a little bit different than ours, if it's proportional, it should, it should be just fine. I always say, just try it. If it doesn't work, then you can always have your designers do that kind of thing. Um, you can always take it at the size that it is already because you're really just giving an idea and your designers can change the size later, but try it. A lot of times, um, it looks just fine. And sometimes the computer is a little bit pickier than the eye. So, so a lot of times it will work. Um, Randy wants to know how about getting his own password. Hit the contact us link, email us or give us a call and, and uh, we'll get that set up for you. Several questions about recording. Yes, it is recorded. 
and you're going to get an email tomorrow. It'll be same time tomorrow. Um, it'll come from Zoom. So it's not coming from Metro. So keep, out, keep an eye out for an email from Zoom. And it's going to have a link to the recording and some other links that we think might be helpful for you. And then you can also go to the webinar page under the support menu and see all the previous ones there too. It'll be posted there as well. Bethany, I'm going to take this one. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, they're asked, I'm sorry, that's Deborah asking about a quarterly health and fitness magazine looking to jazz it up a bit. The page called Good to Know, which was our infographic page, uh, sparked your interest. I'm glad. We, we, we love it too. There are several more of those. Um, so definitely take a look. Um, and again, we are producing those quarterly. So, um, if you have any specifics and you'd like to see something covered, email me directly. We'll be sure to cover it. But in the meantime, check out the ones that we've done in the past. And, and you can find those in the creative library uh, or the sales library, either one, um, using the, the, print ad type menu and select infographics. And then you could use good to know as, as keywords. There it is, came up right as the first one. And you'll see a few of them that way. Can my ad create a multiple sponsor ad? Um, no, Amanda, it can't do that because you can only type in one business at a time. But if you go into the creative library or the sales library and find a multiple advertiser ad, you can print out the, the, um, the overall ad, like the whole page, and sell it that way just as a generic version. Or if it's something like the marketplace ad, um, where's my marketplace here? the individual ads within that page will be customizable in the wizard. Okay, I lost my place in the questions here. What is the cost associated with, with using my ad? Is it added to your subscription? Um, I can get back to you on that. Um, and if anyone else wants pricing, just let us know and we can get that for you. So let me just make a note here. All right, go back to you. Um, it's easy to add local images as backgrounds, but keep all the text format. Oh, is it, wait. Is it easy to add local images as backgrounds, but keep all the text formats and graphics in the spec ad in wizard? In the wizard, uh, no, because you can't swap out um, images in the wizard whatever images are already in the wizard, those are, are locked in. Your designer can absolutely do that for you. Um, and you can, you can add a logo, but you could also add a piece of art if you want, but you'd be adding it to the ad. You wouldn't be replacing anything. So, um, so you wouldn't be able to like replace a background like that. I hope that answered your question. Um, can you customize text? You can customize any of the contact information text with that customize panel, but you can't, you can't, um, get into one real quick. Uh, you can't customize the, the body copy. So here, so when you click customize, you can change this text here, the company information. What some people have done is they have sacrifice some of these fields, like maybe instead of putting in the city and state, they'll put in the hours here or some message. Um, or if it's, if they have a couple locations, they'll, they'll fudge these to make them show the separate, the two different locations. So you can kind of play around with the contact information um, to get in some other information, but you can't change like any of the rest of the text. But again, it's, it's a spec ad. You're just giving an idea and Anything beyond that, uh, that your designers can do. So the idea behind the wizard is that you're getting an, an ad quickly when you need it so that you can spend more time out on the road selling instead of spending a lot of time um, making a lot of changes in here. So that's that's what your designers are for. We want to keep them busy too. Um, so, so as of right now, you can't change that text. 
<clears throat> but the wizard is we've just did a big revamp it is evolving so you know all the feedback that we get from our customers um we do take that into consideration too as we you know find new features for it just kind of a sneak not a sneak peek but advanced information our next our next webinar is probably going to be all about shop local so um ah yes we so forgot to mention keep an that eye out for that for information on that that's february 17th everyone thank you everybody for thank attending you. And we hope to see you at the next webinar again. And if you have any questions, once you get in there and start playing around with it, definitely reach out to us and we'll be happy to help. All right. Have a great day and happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day.